Hey, what's up guys? Kerry Sullivan today answering your triathlon questions. And the question of the day comes from Tucker and he wants to know, is CrossFit a good option for me uh, in the off season and during the season for triathlon? And my answer to you that is no and no. I am not a fan of CrossFit. Uh, I think uh, it's cool as anything to watch on TV, the CrossFit games and everything, but it, it lacks a lot of things, a lot of fen fundamentals that I think can get you in trouble. Um, I look at strength training and what it can do to help you the best it can for athletes. Um, there, none of the freaks in the NFL, NHL, baseball, all that, none of those guys train in the off season doing CrossFit for a lot of different reasons. Um, one, uh, you doing exercises the way they have them structured, uh, the high repetition that they have them structured with the intensity that they have it laid out as, it's a recipe for you to get you know, injured. Um, you know, yeah, it's gonna crank up your heart rate, it could be good for your muscles, but one of the really big key elements that a lot of people miss out there is you're also training your neurosystem. And your neurosystem is very much uh, connected with the way your body moves and the way your muscles fire. And if you're training your neurosystem in a way that uh, it has to be compensated, so ways that will happen, like in CrossFit, sometimes they're gonna have you do like, you know, 20 plus hand cleans, things like that, all kinds of other things, uh, a lot of squat jumps and stuff like that, and they're having you do a lot of exercises such as plyometrics and powerlifting where you're in a fatigue state. When you do these exercises in a fatigue state, your biomechanics and your technique in doing those is compromised. And when your technique starts getting compromised when you're doing strength training exercises, that's when your neurosystem starts developing other ways to fire and you start developing uh, basically bad movement patterns which long term can lead to injuries. Uh, the other thing too is those workouts that they have you do are, are quite taxing on your body and you know doing those multiples days in a row or even uh, you know more than two days a week it's, it's hard to pull off and, and really get a good recovery and make sure that your body is at, at its best. Um, so I, I think it's much more effective to do other types of strength training. I love strength training. I think uh, I think it's great stuff. But again, I think you really need to look at where the top athletes out there are training and what they're doing. None of them are doing CrossFit. And the CrossFit guys are going to be like, oh, no, that's not true. This guy does that and this guy does that. No, it's just not true. Um, so if, if you want to look at places where the top guys are training, look at athletes' performance, look at high-velocity uh, sports, um, you look at uh, the IMG uh, Academy um, in Bradenton. There's a bunch of other places where a lot of uh, NFL guys go during the offseason. You can look at uh, where the top uh, guys go uh, for, for in all sports to train, um, and, and they don't go to CrossFit. And a lot of teams actually – forbid their guys going to train at CrossFit for good reasons. So I'm not a fan of CrossFit. Um, I love watching the CrossFit games and everything like that, but I think there's better ways to get even better results than they're, they're getting for their people. So that's my two cents with it. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace and love. And uh, if you got any questions, feel free to ask them in the box below, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.